Angle Mutes are located under the Mutes tab of the Control Panel. Select the blue plus symbol to create a new angle mute and give the mute a name. I have some offset gathers here. I'll need to choose a velocity model for calculating the angle through the gather. Select the velocity volume from the drop down and check the velocity type is set correctly. If I was using a high resolution velocity model, I could apply smoothing before calculating the mute using the smoothing length. As soon as I specify an outer angle, the mute appears as a dashed line on each gather. The mute updates automatically when you change the settings. This makes it easy to find the right angle for the gathers. By setting both an inner and outer angle, a single mute can mute values outside the range. If only the outer angle is defined, the inner angle defaults to zero. To see the paths of several angles, use multiple mutes. Here I have a mute every 10 degrees, starting at 5, 15, 25, 35, 45 and 55. It's ok to use the same inner and outer angles as I have done here. This trick provides flexibility when applying the mutes and processes. As expected, the mute offsets increase with travel time. That big change at 2000 milliseconds is interesting. It would be good to see if the velocity is causing it. By selecting a group containing the velocity and the offset gathers, I can see a velocity inversion affecting the ray paths. The mute gathers process trims samples from a gather outside the mute. After selecting the mute gathers process, Select the gather's volume. Select the inner and outer mutes. This could be a single mute with different inner and outer angles, or two mutes, each with a single value. This is where my mutes with matched inner and outer angles provide flexibility. The angle mute has different inner and outer angles set. The gathers update immediately when I change the mute angles to 15 and 25. I could create a mid stack directly from these muted gathers using a stacking process. After selecting the stacking process, select the muted gathers volume. Here's the mid stack result. Another approach is to select the mutes directly in the stacking process. I'll choose the unmuted gathers, then select inner and outer mutes at 5 and 35 degrees. The stack now shows the result from the updated mute settings. This is a typical full stack. Looking at the full stack muted gathers in the deeper section, that 5 degree inner mute may be trimming more of the near gather traces than I would like. If I set a maximum offset value of 250 meters, the mute is applied at 5 degrees or 250 meters, whichever is lower. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!